I'll start working out next week. I'll fix my sleeping schedule next month. I'll start learning this skill one day, 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 day. Every time that a clock is ticking, it means you've lost a second. An hour is 60 minutes. So when you get distracted in a day for just two hours, that means you've lost 120 minutes. You wasted it all for just scrolling through social media, doing useless things, and then you say that you'll start to do what you want to do later. Why would you delay your work and hard things in life? Because there's no joy, no fun, it's all pain and suffering. So you tell yourself that you do it later and then you may never even do it at all. When are you gonna stop procrastinating? Procrastination is a trap that many of us fall into. It's ruining your life. Not only you, but 90% of the people in the world right now. You're gonna get your life back together. Start a small, divide up big jobs into manageable pieces, then choose one to start working on right after this video. This will allow you to get started practically immediately. Mark the important tasks on your list with times or dates so you'll know what to focus on and when. Put an end to things. Spend more time completing tasks that are almost finished when you see them. Achieve the delight of crossing tasks off your list by resisting the urge to abandon numerous unfinished projects. Deal with distractions. What changes in your surroundings can you make to help yourself focus better? What should I keep out of my grasp until I finish the task? Strive to fulfill your obligations on time. And acknowledge your accomplishments. Recognize that you are procrastinating. As soon as you start a high priority task, you probably just go and leave after like 10, 20, 30 minutes to give yourself a two hour break. You fill your time with easy tasks and unimportant tasks or low priority tasks. And you'll always wait to be in the right mood or the right time to start it. Procrastination is highly damaging to your productivity. Now I'm gonna tell you some methods to quit procrastination. But remember, the main thing is the mindset. If you truly want to stop procrastinating, just tell yourself that and just stop it like there's no magic, you know. Now I'm gonna tell you some methods. And if you actually take the action on these methods, if you actually use them in your life, you can just totally quit procrastinating. Give the task your all. Prioritize action over avoidance. Put the things you need to do in writing and set a time to finish them. Reduce the number of distractions. While working, turn off social media accounts, emails, and stay away from any television. Prioritize completing the tasks that you dislike the most. This will free up the rest of the day for you to focus on enjoyable tasks. Think about the results, the results that you get at the end of doing those tasks. For example, if you want to be a web developer, and you should work on it two hours every single day, remember the results that you're gonna get at the end. The money that you'll earn, the skill that you've learned, and how you're gonna help people. Also, forget about past procrastinations. It'll just slow you down. Forget about it and forgive yourself for the past procrastinations. What else are you gonna do? Thinking about it will just make you procrastinate even more. One last thing, you're not supposed to enjoy everything in life. There are things that need to be done and you're supposed to do them regardless of how you feel to be successful and proud at the end. Change your mindset and stop procrastinating right now. Until the next video, I'm out of here. Peace.